you see what's going on here the old trucks dragging it can't it just can't take this kind of work all the time no suspension for it on it it's got air shocks and they're aired up all the way now <clears throat> stuff like this never bothered my dad and stuff like that he just rolled with it but in fact he brought that 1946 ford down here from new york state on a that trailer with a ford ranger so he could have been in on them ranger commercials but let me show you what i done did what i done did was well i did that too if y'all are interested in that let me know but i don't imagine anybody's interested in that you think anybody be interested in videos on this i don't know i'm cleaning it though you don't need cleaning hmm? it don't need cleaning oh yes it does oh yes Make sure you give it some pressure. I do. And speed. Yep. I'm scrubbing it. She don't she don't know what gentle means. <laughs> Alright. Here's what I had did. I bought this truck today. <laughs> you know it was a need. She's already loaded up with stuff. It's got one Chevy hubcap and a Chevy tailgate. The rest are GMC hubcaps. And yes, you guessed it. 6.2 liter, literary diesel. It's a pretty nice truck. It's got a little bit of rust in the cab corners. I'd show you the bed. It's pretty beat up, but see the bow in it right there? It rubs the cab. We're going to fix that. She likes the truck. This is inside the truck. It needs a got a little hole in the rocker right there, about where Whalen Wires holes at. But really, it's pretty good. Got tilt wheel, roll up windows. That's good. It's got AC, but the AC pump is missing. The compressor. Got to attach the. Saddle blanket cover. I don't know why nobody ties them in place like they're supposed to, but that's the way it is. Um, let me see what else to show you. I figured out, drove it home with no blower motor. I see somebody did some hacking under the hood. I'll show you that in a second. When I got here, I figured out you plug it in and then somebody has this wired into the ground on the blower motor. So it's wide open all the time. It's got a pretty nice Kenwood stereo, missing a knob. Some of this stuff I ain't too sure about. I don't, like, I don't know what that is. Oh. Dual tanks. Whoopsie. She fires right up. Got good oil pressure. T handles broke off the hood. Deal with it. Look at it. It's pretty nice. Stripped out. No, it ain't. Somebody put a quarter inch one on it and it's a metric. We'll have to fix that. But this truck's in nice shape. It's got good batteries in it. Need to lubricate the hinges. I think I've done good. It does have a little owie right there. Good tires. 
It's been driven 500 miles since the oil was changed with synthetic oil in 21. A little crusty right there. I think I ain't gonna touch it. I'm just gonna drive it. It, it drives good. 700R4. Alright, let me find a nut for that. I meant to make a video of me changing the transmission oil in that today. But it was rainy and I went and looked at that truck and bought it. And stuff and such and man and so on. And I'm going to Virginia tonight. That, Virginia is slowing my roll on the videos. but I hope you all understand. Um, maybe I'll make some videos up there. I don't know. But I'm just trying to get situated. I got a lot of stuff to make videos on. A lot more than I told you about. But, um, just, you know, I got to make a living too. So, anyway, stay with me. Hang with me if you will. Good thing I saved metric nuts and bolts now. I quieted that noise right up. This thing runs really good. Got new hydro boost lines on it, water pump, looks like power steering pump. I found a receiver where I put all new brakes and calipers and rotors. Anyway, we gotta lubricate the hinges. I didn't catch it on camera, but she came out and he hollered at me. She said the exhaust is blowing in the camper, so I've gotta shut it off. Shut it off. Could use a new carpet, couldn't it? She's still muttering about it. What's that? Huh? What do you say? I said I don't mean to be a party pooper, but I don't want to be fumigated with exhaust fumes. Hmm. It's a beauty, ain't it? Well, mostly. I got a big push bar I could put on the front. And I got a GMC tailgate somewhere. It's black, I think. Or should I just rock it like it is? Y'all let me know.